Google please read the following information from the YouTube Community Guidelines. Hawaiian baby woodrose seeds are something that I've talked about in another video, which are very similar to morning glories. They're in the same family. However, Hawaiian baby woodrose seeds actually contain more uh, psychoactive alkaloids than these, which is something that not everybody knows. The main active ingredient in this would be called LSA, also known as ergine. Now, one of the primary factors that leads people to wanting to explore this compound is simply due to the fact that it is legal. In many places, you can actually pick these up just in garden stores. Now, I don't recommend that. I must preface this video by making that very, very clear, particularly because when you buy it in garden stores, they're not for human consumption and they can be coated with a poisonous material. People claim stuff like methyl mercury is coated on them, which brings me to the next point. Another huge reason why I couldn't advise anyone watching go out and try these is because they make you puke. And it's not just like, say, an ayahuasca purge where it can almost feel like you're you're vomiting out just negative energy and feelings and, and you feel better both physically and mentally after the purge. With this stuff, it's accompanied by strong, sharp pains, gastrointestinal pains, stomach pains, just this whole digestive area feels like someone's just running it over with a motorcycle, just repeatedly going, just like hitting different areas. There's not in many cases of people actually having really positive experiences on these seeds. And from my own research, what I've found out is it's primarily due to the fact that you need a lot of them. You need more than is recommended to truly start getting these psychedelic effects to uh, seep out. But at that point, what also gushes out of them is all of the painful discomfort, body load, nauseating effects. You can't get one without the other. If you want to trip on them, you've got to accept the pain that comes with them. And while no one has ever died when consuming these seeds, the pain can be pretty severe to the point where you might think you're dying. You could admit yourself to the hospital, especially if you're a hypochondriac and you mistake that stomach pain for, I don't know, something worse like organ failure. Who knows? Anyway, so as I said, cannot recommend anyone tries these. I can't recommend anyone do anything illegal or illegal when it comes to psychoactive compounds. Now, in most places, these are legal, but in places like the United States, if you were to say attract extract the LSA from them, that LSA when extracted is illegal. Let's actually get into what my experience on the seeds was like. Uh, this evening I was supposed to meet my friend uh, Richard at his house. He had a few people coming over. He kind of lived at the heart of downtown, so everyone used to just always meet up at Richard's. And I was all excited about telling them my new discovery of these legal seeds. I was trying to convince them to try them with me and they all looked really weary. There was uh, myself, there was Richard, there was the other Richard that they called Evil Richard. I'm not sure why. And then uh, I don't know who's comfortable with names, so we'll just call him uh, Len. And then there was Evil Richard's girlfriend who was uh, meeting us later. And so I passed it around the three of them and they all gave it a sniff and they were like, <laughs> Hmm, interesting, Adam. Now, how do we know that this, uh, this new little concoction, this potion you have made, how do we know it's not going to kill us? And I was like, come on, guys. I brought enough for everybody. It's gonna be a fun night. I mean, these are the guys that I tried LSD with, or at least the one of them, um, for my second trip ever, and his, his first, I believe. So I thought that we were on the same page when it came to exploring the depths of our minds, exploring within the realms of human consciousness, which can take you down some very interesting, interesting tendrils that attach into other people's minds, and I'm going nowhere with this. Sure enough, they decided that they were going to use me as a guinea pig, and they just said, look, what we're going to do is... You're gonna try it first, and if you have a good time, then uh, next time you come over, man, just bring some of those seeds for us and we'll all trip. I was like, okay, fine, I'll try this. 20 minutes later, Evil Richard's girlfriend showed up and she arrived with presents. I immediately started to regret taking it because when she arrived, she was like, hey guys, I just got from my dealer this brand new, wait, I need a girl's voice. He gave me this brand new designer drug. It's supposed to feel like MDMA, but it's legal. And I was like, whoa. And then Evil Richard was super down. They kind of looked at me like, 
Yeah, Adam, that sounds a lot better than this gunk you just tried to feed us. I had never heard of it before. It was something like 2CE. Obviously, I know what 2CE is now. She had enough for two people to have like a good trip. So she had two pills that were 20 milligrams each of 2CE. Now, keep in mind, I was slowly waiting for the effects of the morning glory seeds to kick in. We were all like, well, we all kind of want to try the 2CE. I mean, it sounds great. To be clear, the dose that I took of the seeds, it was about 350 seeds worth. That is definitely a relatively decent uh, dose. Plus I had extracted it out of them, which could have made it more potent. It was stupid. The whole thing was stupid. Don't advise it. This is one of those what not to do trip stories. Anyway, she, uh, she cut up the pills. So, you know, all four of us could actually try one. And I thought, okay, great. Now that at least I've got this 10 milligrams of 2CE in me, which I've never tried before either, I will for sure at least feel something. Uh, I was probably now around 40 minutes into my experience and the effects were starting to come on slightly. I do recall that the very first inkling I got of psychedelia wasn't psychedelia, it was actually physical effects where my gut just hurt. You don't know if you've got a shit, fart, or puke, and it's just kind of like a throbbing ache. I'm just feeling very similar to how Albert Hoffman described his extract. I was feeling very tired, tired and sick. Now, it was around this time that uh, my girlfriend arrived, Jasmine, she came in and she was supposed to give me a drive home. So I, I informed Jasmine on what I had done and she was all like, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Classic stupid Adam making stupid mistakes. Oh boy, gotta take care of this dumbass again. I'm sure that's what she was thinking. I spent a solid 40 minutes just sitting on the couch, one hand on my stomach, eyes closed, kind of in a little bit of pain and just being in this weird, confused zone where time just slipped by actually quite fast and I wasn't really thinking about anything. I could describe this best as mindless, as just there, almost disassociative-like feeling uh, because if I did have any real effects, I've completely forgotten them and the shit gave me amnesia. I, I remember being there and everybody talking about their effects being very slight and the girl was like, no, no, I can see it. I see the carpet. It's moving just like last time. She's getting super hyped about that carpet, baby. And the next thing I remember from there is, is being in my bed. Jasmine, like putting something cold on my forehead as I have one hand on my stomach, still feeling stomach pain, just being really confused as to my surroundings, what's going on, where I was. <clears throat> I just remember her voice just saying, just go to bed, Adam, just go to sleep, just sleep it off. It was actually one of the strangest trips because that's it. It's all that happened. I woke up the next morning feeling refreshed. <laughs> I understood that by mixing it, I changed the effects. I'm sure the combo made me even more nauseous. What a stupid idea. I tried Morning Glory seeds two more times after this with slightly lower doses. I believe I tried them again at 250 seeds worth and all I got was anxiety and nausea from it. That's actually the most I've ever gotten, which leads me to believe that the actual psychedelic trippy effects that I was getting was either from the 2CE synergizing or it was just the 2CE completely. So what does all this mean? How come the seeds never really did anything to me? Well, it might mean nothing, or it could mean that a lot of the seeds that are out there just aren't very potent, or perhaps they're actually selling the wrong ones. Now, this video right here actually acts as a prequel to a live experience video that I'm intending to do, and this is because I'm trying not to break my promises. Four or five months ago on Instagram, I dumped out a bucket of seeds and I said to you guys that there was a live experience coming soon on Morning Glories, which just never came to fruition because of a lot of crap in my life, and you know, usual bullshit excuses that YouTubers have. Well. I could be shooting myself in the foot here because I still don't know when that video is going to actually come out. We've got a massive laundry list of videos that we're currently editing, but regardless, that video will be coming and we're going to put this to the test. We're going to find out if it is possible to trip off a normal amount of morning glories just because of science and human curiosity. And I mean, why not? Let's see if this stuff works. If it's not gonna kill me and I might just throw up and shit, then sure, I'll give it a try. But anyway, please let me know below in the comments if you are enjoying these faster, less fancy edited videos. The reason why I'm doing these now is because we've decided to put all of our efforts into working on one high production value video per month instead of like two or three kind of okay ones. However, because the way our channel works, we can't get away with just releasing once a month. So I've decided to go back to my roots. A lot of you guys probably don't remember this, but when I was first starting the channel, there was a good chunk of time when I was actually releasing two videos every week. And now that we're going to be focusing on just one really high production value one, and videos like this only take me, I don't know, maybe like three hours to edit and then 30 minutes to film, well, this opens the door for me to release a lot more 
content. Let me know below if you enjoyed the story and if you are enjoying the direction this channel is going. Of course, you haven't got a chance to see one of our super high production value videos yet. Um, that'll be coming soon. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. And I'd also like to give a huge shout out to our patrons. It's thanks to you guys that I'm even able to keep making content. You are the reason why I'm on YouTube. You guys are all supporting my channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you appreciate what I do and you want to support the channel, follow the link over here to our Patreon page and join the family. And as always, make sure you test all of your substances before you consume them. There is a testing kit link in the video description, and I will see you guys all in the next video. I'm actually about to go on a little bit of a vacation right now, and Jasmine's kind of pissed at me, and she wants to murder me, so I gotta really hurry up and finish this, and yeah, I better go.